Baby Gabriel, a precious seven-month-old infant, has been missing for six years. His mother, Elizabeth, went on the lam with her son, leaving the baby's father, Logan, a chilling phone call. You did not hurt Gabriel. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Where are you? Where's Gabriel? Where did they go? Cops tracked her down to Miami, where she told them she didn't kill her son, but gave him away to a mystery couple in San Antonio in an underground adoption. Do you think that there, it's feasible that she could have come here and simply lost her mind? I really don't. And I base that on the fact that she was very methodical that somebody who has a psychiatric breakdown doesn't go to the lengths that she went to to execute her plans, to document them, right down to the map to the park. Logan and his cousins take matters into their own hands, heading to San Antonio to try to find Gabriel. We were at a gas station and we went inside and the girl that was working there remembered Elizabeth. And so people were saying to us, you know, oh yeah, I remember when she was in here, she came in to buy, you know, crackers or, you know, she paid for some gas and had her son with her. Meanwhile, San Antonio investigators feverishly search for a body, even digging up a Texas landfill. Homicide investigators believe that aspects surrounding the disappearance of baby Gabriel involve elements of a possible homicide. Elizabeth is charged with kidnapping and custodial interference. The young mother is not charged with murder because no body was ever found. And the jury could never reach a verdict on the kidnapping charge and it was subsequently dropped. As Elizabeth sits in jail awaiting trial and explosive development that could alter the outcome of the case. Tempe detectives claim that before heading to Texas, Elizabeth tried to give the baby to Tammy and Jack Smith, an Arizona couple who wanted to adopt Gabriel. Tammy is accused of lying on a court document in what prosecutors call an elaborate plan to try to adopt Gabriel without his dad's permission. Is that your writing? I believe so. It, looks, it really looks like it. Prosecutors say Tammy forged her cousin's name on court records, suggesting he could be Gabriel's father, even though she knew it was not true. Tammy testified she was simply helping Elizabeth fill out the adoption paperwork. I was just basically writing the stuff that I knew, like kind of repetitive, her name, the baby's name, you know, Logan's name, things like that. Um, but I was also off and on taking care of the baby and he was crying a lot. The couple never did adopt Gabriel, although Tammy admits she tried. A jury found her guilty of conspiracy to commit custodial interference and forgery. She served only 30 days in jail, a sentence which infuriated Elizabeth, who was herself facing a possible 27-year sentence for kidnapping and other charges. In what appeared to be a self-defensive reaction, she wrote a scathing letter to the judge criticising that 30-day sentence. I can't accept how lightly you sentenced Tammy Smith. 30 days in jail, three years probation. How could you? Are you mad, blind, deaf, dense? After being released, Tammy says she still doesn't know the fate of little Gabriel. I want so badly to know what really happened. Only she knows and God knows what she did. Finally, Elizabeth gets her day in court. Gabriel Johnson was a pawn. He was a tool. He was a piece in a game. In opening statements, Elizabeth Johnson's attorney asks the jury to ignore the fact that baby Gabriel has been missing for years, his client refusing to reveal where he is. I'm gonna ask you not to speculate about those things I know you wanna speculate about. I'm gonna ask you not to speculate about the current status or the whereabouts of Gabriel Johnson. And I'm gonna ask you to remember, this is not a case about whether or not you like Elizabeth Johnson. Elizabeth interrupts the testimony with an emotional outburst. <laughs> Ms. Johnson, I want to give you some time, so I want you to, to take some time. And if you need to step out, you can. She's young. Uh, she's in a high-profile trial. The issues are issues that are sort of near and dear to her. These involve her, her son, uh, issues that uh, very much affected her life. 
Gabriel's grandfather, Frank McQuarrie, testified that he missed out on the joys of having a grandchild. Was this his first Christmas? It was. Did you or Logan take him to see Santa Claus? We didn't get the chance to. After two days of deliberation, the jury finds Elizabeth guilty. You're talking about an incredibly manipulative woman who has worked the system to her advantage now. If she, in fact, killed this baby, I will be the first one at Huntsville watching her die. The sentence, five years, Gabriel's grandfather is furious. They made her a smoking deal. Just tell us what she did with Gabriel. And that pretty much tells you what she did with Gabriel. I think the main thing I'd probably say is just flat out tell me the truth. That's all I want to hear, is the truth come out of your mouth. Elizabeth got credit for time served, so she's been released. But Gabriel is still missing, and she still won't say a word about where he is. Even last night, just minutes before we walked out of the prison, she was saying to me, Mark, I, I can't believe it's really going to happen. Finally, I'm going to get out of here. Elizabeth seemingly starting her new life as a saucy brunette with a new name, Joanna, a.k.a. Jojo, and a new husband. She's done all kinds of things to herself. She completely changed herself. I think it's unbelievable that she can just go and hand off her baby to anybody she wants and then just go and live her daily life like nothing ever happened. But internet sleuths were on to her and tipped off cops. Elizabeth was arrested because she took a trip out of state and failed to notify authorities that she got married. She served only 20 days for those probation violations. Meanwhile, the search for baby Gabriel continues. This is a composite of what he could look like now at six years old. Well, I would ask that the public really pay close attention to that age progression. If you see a child that looks like him, report it to the police. Friends posted on Facebook a picture of that age progression of Gabriel and found what could be a lead, another little boy who was an uncanny match. It's a lead that we passed on to law enforcement over a year and a half ago that still has not been pursued. I hope that Crime Watch Daily has an opportunity to talk to them and ask them that because they won't answer that question to us. Despite all the pain Logan has endured, he now has a happy life with his fiancée and two sons. Both my sons would love to meet him and, you know, just start a life with him. I look forward to Gay Rove coming home. I mean, who wouldn't want another kid in their life? Like, sorry. <laughs> Apparently, Elizabeth didn't. Baby Gabriel has never been found, and only Elizabeth knows the truth. The McQuarrie family and Crime Watch Daily need your help. If you recognise this child in this age progression image, what baby Gabriel might look like now, log on to crimewatchdaily.com and submit a tip.